Welcome to the Lurking Spirits channel. Today, we are looking at the town of Williamston, with two places in mind, the Mineral Spring Park, and also a local cemetery. The town of Williamston is named after West Allen Williams, who discovered a mineral spring on his property around 1842. Williams determined that the spring possessed healing qualities and capitalized on its discovery. William Spring was advertised on the Anderson Gazette as early as 1845, and people flocked to William's property and stayed in tents near the spring. In 1849, the Greenville and Columbia Railroad announced it would create a route by the spring. William subsequently became a bustling resort and was initially called Mineral Springs. We are also going to be focused on a man named James W. Huff, born on the 11th of March, 1849, and died October 13, 1901. At age 52, he was buried at the Williamston Cemetery in Williamston, South Carolina. Sunday afternoon at 4 o'clock on that Tuesday, he was driving in a road cart when his horse ran away with him, throwing him from the seat and entangling his body between the shaft and the wheel of the cart throwing him backwards with his head directly against the rapidly revolving wheel. In this condition, he was carried by the maddened runaway animal for nearly 500 yards, and when extricated from the vehicle, it was found that his skull had been terribly lacerated, his side blackened and bruised, and he was in a totally unconscious condition. He was carried to the residence of Mrs. Sullivan nearby and could not be removed to his home in Williamston but lingered in a stupor until death claimed him as its victim. Maybe. Oh. These trees are massive. <laughs> Go there. Oh yeah. Yeah, I actually got a good look at that earlier. It's actually, that's actually a fire pit. That's actually a fire pit. I didn't think it was anything, but it's actually a fire pit in there. Yeah, it's a fire pit now. Look at these tables. This entire park is nice in the daytime, but just as nice at nighttime. Ladies first. Hello, hello. Congratulations, now you're all locked in. Perfect. That's good, we just have to get closer. I have an array of equipment here, this being a Faraday bag, uh, the EVP reader, two spirit boxes, EMF, and cat balls, flashlight, temp gauge, and a speaker for that. So we're going to get started off with the cat balls. I'll just place up all three. And the uh, oh, one-handed, this sucks. No, I lost one. All right, so we got a cat ball there. Flashlight and cat ball right there. You can kind of see the cat ball, kind of, sort of. Let me try and get a zoom on this. Yep, right there. There's a cat ball. There's another cat ball over There's there. A cat ball there. So, a cat ball. so, my name is Chase. I am a paranormal investigator. I am Diane, and for tonight, I'm just going to be operating this camera here and asking some questions. And I'm Gabby. I'm also a paranormal investigator. We do not mean you any harm. We are not here to destroy, disrupt. Or bring any negative energy here we are just simply here to communicate with whoever resides at this park and we are not here to disrespect you or your beautiful park absolutely did you make sure that that is easy to manipulate over the flashlight yeah Respect. Last week or the week before, we asked a question if 
you were unhappy because people didn't come in. I'm going to go ahead and step away and go over here. You don't have to come anywhere near me. You don't have to walk anywhere. Thank you. Thank you. Can you turn that flash on for off? Maybe I was too close to it. Can you turn the flashlight back off? Her camera's down now. Her camera's put away. Thank you. Thank you. I meant no disrespect to you. We're just, sorry. We're just trying to find out. You know, every town has its rumors and associated with its history, and we're just trying to confirm or dismiss some of the rumors. If you are here and would like to communicate, please turn any of those devices on. for giving this community here such a beautiful park for all of us to come to visit. West Allen Williams. This was your property. This was your home before you donated it to Williamson to use as a park. They named an entire town after you. Are you happy? If you're here, can you turn on any of the devices? For the flashlight, all you need to do is just turn it just a little bit and the light will come on. And then for those balls over there, all you need to do is catch them and they'll light up very pretty colors. Are there any soldiers down here tonight? We thank you for your service. You don't need to pack all of them. Maybe please let the person talk to us tonight. The cat You know what you could do? Put it right by the flashlight. Give it the it's option. Like we're just respecting you down here because we're not trying to. Maybe it wasn't turned on enough. Yeah. Right. Oh, yep, right there. Perfect. Perfect. Would you like to communicate with us? We like your park a lot. We think it's beautiful. We just had it decorated for Christmas and it looked phenomenal. West Allen Williams, are you here with us? Is any of your family here? Cap on. First cap all of the night. First cap all the night. Can you turn that on again to show us that you are here? That you want to communicate? I just took a photo of the cat ball. Thank I'm going to take another you. photo of the cat ball. Thank you so much. You have a beautiful park here. 
All right, awesome. I took a photo of the cat ball. Do you like the fact that we're here talking to you? It probably gets lonely. Yeah, cat ball. Is that what you want to use for right now? You want to use the cat ball? You can use the flashlight. It'll turn on now. We, we fixed it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was stupid before. You like that cat ball? Can it you... likes the cat ball. It takes a while for me to turn off. Can you walk over to the flashlight and turn that on? We just want to have proof that you are here. I mean, we don't want to think that it's just coincidence about the cat ball. If you turn that flashlight on, then we know we're actually communicating with you. It's not that we don't believe you. It's just that we want to double check and make sure that you're understanding us and we can understand you. Yes? Okay. Can you go ahead and uh, turn on the flashlight over there on that slab, please? Use our energy from the spring. You can use the energy from the spring. You can use the energy from us or any of our equipment. Oh, that's like a charcoal burning. Yeah. Hmm. That's weird. Can you turn the flashlight on for us, please? Just so we can confirm that we are talking to somebody. Mr. Williams, is that you? Go ahead and manipulate that flashlight over there. Just turn it slightly and it'll come on. Actually, at this point, all you have to do is touch it. Yeah, just kind of... Yeah, all you gotta do is just either twist the top or put your energy into it. Can you go ahead and turn the flashlight on, please, so I can get a picture of the flashlight turning on? You've been using the cat ball. We appreciate it, but can you turn on that flashlight? You can use our energy or use the energy from the spring... Anyone who hears my voice, if you would like to, you can go ahead and turn on that flashlight and let us know that you are here. Is West Allen Williams here? Is he with us tonight? Were you also a Mason? Were you a member of the Masonic Lodge? Did you work on the railroad here? I think it's I think it's time for us to move on. Do you want us to go? Turn on either the cat ball or the flashlight if you want us to leave, and we will. All right, well, we greatly appreciate it. Have you had others here investigating? Are we the first? All right. Next area. Golly, is it dark? Holy. You can't even see. All right, we're here at a random bridge located in the park. The tank is over here. Water's all murky. What do you think? You think this is it, y'all? Well, this could be here. Yeah. No, we can. I'm gonna set up here. Got it. I swear to God, if it knocks the cap ball into the water. <laughs> well, we do got to be careful because... Where do you want me to stand over here? No, we're going to stand over there. Over where? Oh, over okay. There. All 
sorry. I'm not touching the cat ball. I apparently did make it move though, apparently, a little bit. So it did go off. This bridge is rather. Chase, walk by that cat ball. I want to see if it'll go off again. Or if it was because I walked too close to it and it like vibrated the ground or something. <gasps> no way. What? That cat ball went off and I just walked right by it. What the hell? No, I'm going to walk by it again. That time it went off. It might have been me. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk by it again. Alright. Come on back. That's how I walked by it the first time. Alright. Come on back. Alright then. Is there anybody here who would like to communicate with us? Uh, twisting. Okay. Uh, by twisting it just a little bit, or you can, uh, touch one of the cat balls, which I think you did when I walked by, but I am not entirely sure. So, if that was you, can you make one of those cat balls go off again? If you can hear me, my name is Chase. I am here with Diane and Gabriella. We do not mean you any harm. We are here to get your story. We are here to communicate with whoever may reside here. Well, that being said, no. That's why I heard. I thought I heard it's a growl the behind me. Where the water's going? Because I'm almost sounds like somebody's talking. I, I hear that. Well, no, I hear that, but there was a whisper. I thought I heard a growl behind me. If you're here and would like to communicate, can you manipulate either of the cat balls we have? Or can you turn on the flashlight? To manipulate the cat ball, all you gotta do is just move it or put your energy into it and make it turn on. It'll glow up all kinds of colors. And for the flashlight, all you gotta do is twist the top of it and it'll turn on to any yes or no questions we have. So with that being said, is there anyone here who would like to communicate? I ask you. Thank you. Thank you. Kind of me. <laughs> you can turn the flashlight off now. We appreciate it. You want to go ahead and turn off the flashlight? Thank you. Thank you. Do you like it here at the park? You can turn the flashlight on for yes or leave it off for no. Do you like it here at the park? Is this bridge like a safe haven for you? Did you have an accident on this bridge? Do you like that people here are trying to get your story and asking you questions and communicating with you? You know how the flashlight works. Can you touch one of the cat balls and make them light up? If you'd like us to take a step back, Turn the flashlight on. Okay. I heard There's something rattling behind That's us. That's me. That's oh, okay. okay. Well, let's go ahead and take a step back. Not really by close, anyhow. I know, but there you go. We took a step back. 
Can you make one of the cat balls go off now since we took a step back? You can make any one of those two cat balls go off. All you gotta do is pick them up and throw them or put your energy into them, either or. Just don't knock them into the river. <laughs> That's a cop. Yes, can you turn that flashlight off for me, please? Would you like your story told? Yes. Can you turn the light off, please? Thank you. We'll make sure your story gets out. Just turn off the light. We're trying to find out what happened. Can you turn the flashlight off and... Oh, okay. I was going to count down. Can you turn the flashlight on really quick so I can count down? Do you have a story that's never been told by anyone? Your death was never told or wasn't told? Thank you. Can you turn the flashlight off at one, three, two, one? All right, can you turn the flashlight off on three? One. Oh. <laughs> well, it's answering our question, so I know it's it's not coincidental. We got more activity over here than we did at the spring. Are you a female? Are you at something that tragically happened to and you're a female? Are you a male? Can you turn that flashlight on if you're a male? Can you turn the flashlight on if you're a female? Alright. Does that mean maybe a a young child female? A female young child? I think it's just, yeah. Or you're just, yes, that you're a female. Can yes. you make the flashlight on if you like us? Can you turn it on if you like us? I'd like to see you use a cat ball. Can you touch one of the cat balls? They're both easy. They're both easy. Slightly easier. All you have to do is walk by it, and I'm sure it'll turn on. I thought I heard a female's voice. I heard footsteps behind us a second ago. I thought I heard a female's voice from coming over there. A trash can in my peripheral scared me. I know. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and pack up our things and leave now. Can you turn on the flashlight and say goodbye? Okay, we'll leave you alone. Thank you. We greatly appreciate it. So I'm not getting into your personal space here. Can you go ahead and turn the flashlight off for me? And once you turn it off, I'll go ahead and uh, collect my things and get out of here. I don't want to invade your personal space. So can you turn the flashlight off for me? Thank, Thank you. you. I greatly appreciate it. You're and as you all can see, there is no one over there. No one over there. And the flashlight turned on. That is. Well, congratulations. You are being tasked with the cat balls. And I am being tasked with the flashlight in the spirit box.
Actually, hang on a minute. Now you can see it. I have it propped up against my other flashlight here. And right now, I'm going to be using the spirit box as well as. That was a radio station in here. If there is anyone here who would like to communicate, can you say hello? If you'd like to communicate, can you tell me your name? If you're here, can you say hello? I heard yeah, second yeah. Can you say hello? Hello? Hello there. Oh, that's awesome. There's a flashlight, you can kind of see it. It's over there on the floor. Where? Right there. Can you manipulate that? Can you turn that on? All you gotta do is twist the top of it and it'll turn on. Where's the cat balls at? There's one here, I think, no. Do you like this part? Can you tell me what the name of this park is? Can you tell me what the name of this park is? My name is Chase, and I'm not here to harm you. I'd like to communicate with you. Do you want me to leave? Probably. If you want me to leave, can you turn the flashlight on? That's not leave. Where are you? We're gonna move to another area. Can you say goodbye? Yeah. Can you say goodbye? Would you like one of the girls to come down here and use the spirit box? Girls. You want to try it? Ooh. Whoa, as soon as she touched it, it whispered, it was like, hey. And as soon as I said, whoa, it was like, whoa. 
देखिए So now we're walking over to a little tunnel over and the tunnel is supposed to have like clicking, footsteps, uh, clapping, stuff like that. I know y'all can't see me. We have a night vision camera coming in tomorrow so next week at Crybaby Bridge we'll be sure to use that. But for right now this is what you get because I'm filming it on my uh, S22 so say hi. If you can see them, I don't even know. So, right here is the tunnel. Come on, jolly campers. Just really quick. Well, we were standing out the other day. I came, we came through here. And just as I started walking through, I heard two claps behind me. Can you clap? I think a spirit box in here is too echoey. Oh, yeah. Might as well stick with the uh yeah. oh EVP recorder. Here we go. Go ahead, put yours on. I'm gonna use mine up at some Okay, that's fine. Oh. Sorry. Um Gabriella, the balls please. Turns on by the side here. Uh, nothing. Probably garbage. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that, but I didn't want to make that joke for the video. So good oh, job. Uh, sorry. I mean, yeah, it's totally garbage. Totally garbage. Not like a kitten or anything. It's like a dead body. Part we'll leave that here. Sorry. Um. Okay, actually, if you want to put them at the ends of the tunnel. Yeah, I was going to put one over on this end. Yeah, I got, oh, Diane, you want to hide. I got a cap all there. Flashlight here. EVP recorder there. And another cap all down there. So, Is we are. there something here that would like to communicate with us? Hello. Darkness, my old friend. First off, <laughs> my name is Chase. I'm here with Diane. And Gabriella, and we are here to communicate with anyone who may have passed on, but would like to tell their story. So we have equipment set up. If you'd like to say anything, we have a EVP recorder right by the suitcase. It has a red dot on it, um, and then we have cat balls at the end of the uh, of the tunnel here. We have two of them. All you gotta do is just go up to them and kick them, remove them, or put your energy into them. And then we have a flashlight in the middle here. And uh, all you gotta do is just twist the top like of that. It feels like something's touching my head. Uh, yeah, my hair. It feels like something's touching the top part of my head. 
Well, that being said, is there anyone here who would like to communicate with us? There's a lot of orbs. Can you turn the flashlight on if you're here? Were you just touching my hair? Or touch one of those cat balls, those little round balls there when you touch them? They make little pretty colors. What was that? That wasn't him. Mm -hmm. I was in this tunnel. I think I, I think the camera caught that. Were you cool. just in here? Are you the one that was touching my hair? Can you turn on one of those cat balls or the flashlight? I'm going to show you how to move the cat ball. So, yeah, it's starting to smell bad in here now. Oh, well, either way, all you gotta do is just move it in the slightest. You don't have to move it as hard as I did. All you gotta do is just move it a little bit. No, it smells like, it smells like landfill. Did you fart? You know what's funny? After you asked that, the screen went white for no reason. Like something passed in front of it. Are you farting beside us and then just running away? Are you crop dusting us right now? Here, we'll turn the flashlight off. I wonder if we need to bring them to the middle and we leave the tunnel. And we ask questions from a distance. The echo will allow the uh, EVP recorder to hear it. So let's do that. All right, here we are. Let's see if you've got enough courage to turn those on, or one of them. Are you here? Can you turn on one of those lights? We backed away from you. Everybody says there's something in here, but so far you're not showing us that. Is there something in here? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, make a cap all go off. Yep, I just saw it again. And But there's nothing moving. There's Is that light. There's a light. What's it's light? Chase. No. Yep. No, because no, Diane, look right beside you. My shadow's right here. My shadow's right here. And that I is. Think a, it might have been a car from way down there. It possibly could have been. Yeah, but that was kind of in the shape of a person. It was, but I don't if know. If you're happy you and you know it, turn on the flashlight. You're a big chicken shit. You don't know how to turn on the light or nothing. Everybody says there's something. If in you're there. happy and you know it, fucking do something. Yeah, if you're happy and you know it, pull my hair. Don't do that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Please don't do that. If you're kinky and you know it, pull my hair. No, kidding. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in here. No. Nope. I mean, everybody says that there is not, but... Yeah. You know, it was uh, weird that day when I walked out because I did definitely have what steps behind me and I heard a clap. Tell you what, if you were to do still photos, like... That would, this, this would be... This is the tunnel be, where me and Samantha took pictures. And it looked like that angel or something yeah, was behind you? Yeah. Yeah, we're all in this garden and he's all around the world behind me now. Here we are. We are looking at that grave right there, that tombstone. And this is Mr. 
James W. Hoff. I'm stepping on somebody's grave. I'm Hello, James. So Hello, Mary. My name is Chase. I am here with Diane, and I am here with Gabriella. Hello. We are here to get your story. Did you bring your recorder, I'm Diane? I'm put my recorder down right here. You see a little light on this. If you want to whisper or something in there to us, just go by that light there and talk into there, and we can hear what you have to say. We have a flashlight in the middle. We're going to go and take a few steps back here. Sorry, we're not in your space. We don't want to step on anybody's graves. That's either. why I'm right here. They're all facing that way. We have a cat ball right beside Mary's grave and right beside your grave, James. All you got to do to those is move them or put your energy into them to turn them on. Okay? That's all you got to do. And now we have a flashlight in between both of your graves. It's pointing directly at me. All you got to do with that is turn to the top of that. And we will be able to see and ask questions. Well, that being said, James W. Huff or his wife Mary, can you manipulate any of the equipment that we have set up for you. Whether it be a cat ball or it be the flashlight. If there's another spirit here that would like to communicate with us, we're very friendly. We're paranormal investigators. We mean no harm. We just want to tell your story. So if there's somebody else besides James Huff or his wife that would like to speak to us, just come over here and light up a flashlight or one of the balls and we'll be able to communicate with you. So for those of you who don't know what the uh, SD method is, you use a set of headphones and the spirit box, which I can't really, I don't have three arms here, but I have it. You hook a set of noise canceling headphones up and you can, uh, they ask the questions and I repeat what I hear. So, did you guys get anything? Well, it's not what you hear. It's supposed to be how you feel. How I feel, you, what I hear you, coming you feel, through. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. yeah it's, a, it's, it's a mixture of things. A bunch of things. Also body movements. Yeah, whatever you're feeling, seeing. It's sensory if deprivation. touching you, yeah, whatever. Another car in the background. Oh, so I don't know what that was. All right, so y'all can probably hear how loud it is. Yeah, usually they don't use the spirit box on that for a sensory deprivation. No, he's not doing the sensory deprivation. He's doing the SS method. Oh, okay. Well, he said sensory deprivation. Well, it kind of is. It kind of isn't. It's, it's whatever. James or Mary, are you here? <coughs> That's Hope. Me. We want to tell your story about your accident. We want to make sure there's no rumors about it, that there's just only facts. Warning. Chase has that machine in his hand and he has the headphones on. Make sure you guys say who you're trying to connect to as well. There's the car in the background. Hello? Is that you, James? Were you trying to talk to us? You are something. Chase. 
Can you tell us about your accident, Mr. Huff? Are you at peace now? No. Mary. I'll make you. Mary, are you here with us? Leave. What's your name? Who are we speaking with right it's now? It's fun. Who are we speaking with right now? Tell us your name. To your left. Now. Why? Run. Why? foggy and gloomy out here to you. Why did that car stop there? Okay. Now I just, I don't know, I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything at all. I mean, you say you're feeling weird. I Holy am. shit, that was a scream, like a really high-pitched scream. I feel very strange to that. He owns this. Who is here with us right now? Speak your name. Huff. Which Huff? Mr. Huff? Or Hi. Hi. Is this Mr. Huff or is this Mrs. Huff? Turn around. Why? Are you making it colder here? It's getting way colder. It is. There's no breeze. Ghost! No, there isn't any wind right now. A little bit, I see over there. But it feels way more than that. Can you get up? On the steps. What steps? Is there anything I'm saying? Like... Kind of. We asked who's... Like, who's here and you're like, Huff? We're like, okay, Mrs. Huff or Mr. Huff. And it didn't reply back, but it was like, stairs. I, for one, personally, we were going to get more than what we did. Um, Mr. Huff... Mary, thank you again for, you know, attempting to communicate with us. I'm sure we got something on our recorders and the spirit box. Um, again, anything that is here, anyone that is here, you cannot follow us home. You cannot follow us home. That's going to wrap it up. Williamson Cemetery was basically a bust in a cemetery. There should be a lot of activity. But then again though, you gotta think of it this way. Some days you might get a whole lot of activity and That's what some we you just might said. not. But it seems like we have more activity in places that we decide to explore. Our house. And, and yeah, and, and in Gabriella's room. Which I will be posting a video on that about too. Oh, you can just get but. that ton of it from the just the ring camera alone yeah. in there. I don't even need to go. In, I mean, I'll go in there and film some. Well, you got those videos with like the we shadow did today. And that, that, when that weird, yep, puffy thing. But uh, yeah, you can get the actual video off the ring camera too for both of those. We thought we were going to get more than what we did, but uh, you know, sadly, it just doesn't work out like that. So, Williamson Cemetery, thank you for having us, and Williamson Mineral Spring Park. Thank you for having us. Next week is Cry Baby Bridge, and there is a lot of backstory and a lot of evidence behind that one. So stay tuned. 
And uh, thank you for watching the Lurking Spirits Paranormal Channel.